Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my kitchen. I have no idea how today's video is going to go. In fact, you have a better idea than me because you've seen some form of thumbnail. I have no clue. I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping for the absolute best because I got this comment on a previous video. And if you want to see me make more croissants, I will do so. So in my previous video, I was testing kitchen gadgets. This being one of them, and I made a cube croissant, or at least tried to, but that was where it ended. I never filled it, and I never decorated it. So I decided today, I'm going to do just that. I invested in some teeny cube croissant trays so that we can make little ones, and as a little added bonus, I got some rings. I scoured Google again for a cube croissant recipe, and guess what? It just doesn't exist. The only recipe I could find was this one. And in this one, the guy wraps the dough around some chocolate. But other than that, that's as far as it goes for clear instructions. I have my just roll next to me, and then the oven is on 170. And I think from when I tested it before, 250 grams did seem like a good amount to put in the tin, but I think we'll just change how it's put in the tin and the length of time that it goes in the oven. And then with the little pans and the rings, I'm just gonna guesstimate. We're just gonna try with it a bit of pastry, see how it comes out and go from there. I honestly have no clue what I'm doing and almost regret agreeing to do this video. But we live and we learn, and if no one's gonna put a recipe on the internet, I'm gonna try and come up with one myself. Ooh, ooh, I like this. Okay, I've had an idea. Okay, I'm gonna do slices because that pattern may go on the outside of my croissant. I'm gonna go one here, one here, yeah, and then, <gasps> Oh, that could work. That could work really well. I've done two down the side and two at the top, but there's spaces everywhere. So one of the problems with the last one was it was so tightly packed that the middle didn't cook. I feel like this gives an opportunity for space. Okay, and then I'm gonna use one of these and put it inside one of these dishes. And then the final little piece, I think, we can pop inside there. And I have seen someone make these ones and they put another baking tray on top to hold them down. I feel like I'm off to a flying start. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. For the next one, I think I'm gonna do layers. I could do layers on the outer edges and let them go in. That sounds like a plan. This is my thought process. What if I put one layer on each side of this so that it can grow towards the middle and like one in the middle? Oh, they're sort of falling inwards already. Oh goodness, this has not gone to plan. This this is how we're looking. It's all sort of collapsing on itself. <gasps> oh, but also it's not gonna have a pretty pattern if I do it like that, is it? I'm not a chef or a baker. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is what we're going with. And I'm gonna say that's number two. With these little extra bits, I'm gonna stuff them into one of these. And do we think this will fit in there? Oh my goodness, adorable. So we've got one circle, one with five layers. Then we're gonna wrap some galaxy in some dough. Chop this. Gosh, I don't know if this is gonna work. He grabs a ball of chocolate. I don't know how much, I should really look at the instructions, but I'm not going to. We're just gonna try to wrap this dough. I don't think this is gonna fit inside my tin. That's what we're looking like, a big ball of dough with some chocolate in it. I've got a little bit of leftover dough so let's just have a bit of fun with this last one. I'm just gonna wrap up some pieces of chocolate. I'm gonna add little parcels of chocolate into here. Cute! Now we put the lid on. I'm getting nervous now. I'm gonna get them all into the oven and I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes for these and an hour for these. Pray for me. I am struggling so much trying to come up with a recipe when I am not a chef, however, do you know who's really good at coming up with recipes? My favorite people at HelloFresh, they do a freaking great job of coming up with delicious recipes and it is no secret at this point that I am a big fan. However, today I have an offer that I don't know if you'll be able to turn down because it is the best offer I think I've ever had. I'm so excited to offer this to you, but before I do, let me quickly go over what HelloFresh does in case you're new. HelloFresh is a meal delivery service. You pop online, choose from so many incredible recipes and dinner options, Choose which ones you want, and then on your front doorstep, this will arrive, the beautiful HelloFresh box. And inside it are all of the ingredients for all of your meals, along with recipe cards that have on there a picture of the beautiful dinner you're gonna prepare, the ingredients that you're gonna need, which will be in the box, pre-measured for you, and on the back, a step-by-step, easy-to-follow recipe guide. If you click the link 
in my description, you get 60% off your first box, then 20% off your next two months worth of boxes. You also get free dessert for life. Free dessert for life. I don't know how you're gonna turn that down, but uh, it's there in the link if you wanna click it. And uh, I'm gonna get back to making croissants and trying my best to come up with my own recipe. So the first filling that I'm gonna be working on is a pistachio cream. I found a pistachio cream recipe online. Put the pistachios into a pan. Okay, so I'm doing four minutes boiling. I've never boiled pistachios before. This is very new. Then draining and rubbing with a towel. Ew! Look at the pistachio boiling. What is that mess? It smells kind of nice though. Kind of, it smells a bit icky, but it's okay. Pistachios are done. So now I'm gonna drain these and then add them to this towel, which I have just covered with things. And then we're gonna rub them until the skin comes off. How do I know what's nut and what's skin? Whoa! Oh no. Whoa! Oh, wait, is the skin the brown bit? How do I know when all skins have been removed? I knew pistachios were kind of green, but I thought the coloring was added because they're not that green. But actually, some of these, are really green. Look how green these things are. Look how green they are. Rubbing the skins. And I didn't intend on spending my day peeling pistachio skins. Things are happening, stop. I will come back to these. Let's look at how these turned out. This was the one with just the layers. Um, I think I did five layers and it hasn't quite come up to the top. <gasps> that looks really good though. Or, <gasps> Oh, one roll. Although why is that like sunk in the middle? Final one, this is the one with the chocolate. I think this one's the best one. I think they could have done with an extra five minutes, maybe. Let me get a knife and we'll cut into them. This is the one with layers. Oh no. Okay, it's not quite cooked in the middle. So I'm thinking an extra 10 minutes maybe? And let's see what happened to the chocolate one. That's no longer galaxy chocolate. It still tastes of galaxy, but it looks like, it looks like it's separated a bit. I'm really happy with how the layers one came out and how the singular circle one came out. So I think I'm gonna repeat that in these, but leave them in there for 30 minutes, check them and then put them in for another 10 if necessary. And then I think we should have three good little cube croissants, which is amazing. Ooh, that works a bit better. Okay, that's pretty good. That's the circular one that had 20 minutes on one side, and then I think 10 to 20 minutes flipped over. I'm still working on my pistachio filling. I've got my blender, and I'm putting in all of my pistachios, along with the milk, and two tablespoons of icing sugar. This gets blitzed. Blitzed for around five minutes. I mean, I'd say that that was pistachio paste, so I think the paste is done. I'm adding white chocolate, butter and milk to a pan, warming this up and then adding that to that mixture. The timer has just gone off. I'm a little bit nervous about this. This is the one that had four pieces around the side and two circles in the middle. It's an interesting pattern, maybe slightly undercooked, just slightly. Ooh, maybe. <gasps> it might actually be, <gasps> I think it's cooked all the way through. This is the one where I did two circles at the bottom and two circles at the top. Again, it hasn't filled to the top. <gasps> Look at this on the side. Oh my goodness, and this side. This one is pretty cooked inside as well. And then this final one is the only one that I had a recipe for. It hasn't fully filled to the sides of the cube. It hasn't fully risen. And they were all roughly the same amount of pastry. Chocolate stopped it rising a little bit. Chop this open because this one has chocolate in it. Oh, no. The chocolate looks not great at all. And then there's a lot of uncooked pastry here. These two did okay. I think there are minor changes I can make. I think I might add a teeny bit of pastry and I might turn the oven down slightly and leave them a bit longer. Straight on to round two. I'm gonna pop these out, refill the trays and get them back in the oven for the next hour. Meanwhile, my pistachio cream is coming along. So I have my pistachio paste here, and I'm gonna add to it the milk and the white chocolate mixture. It looks really green, which I'm so happy with. This is what it looks like. So it is quite creamy, but I'm not too sure if that's thick enough to go inside a croissant 
and hold. Filling number two is really relatively simple. I'm gonna be adding some mango pulp to some custard. I love mango, it's my favorite fruit. Add that to a little bit of custard, oh my goodness. Now when I've seen croissants and they open up, they have like a really gooey filling that spills out and looks kind of like the consistency of cream slash custard. So I figured why not try making mango custard? Now there are lots of different recipes available. You can also make the custard from scratch, but in my eyes, that's delicious, that's delicious. Mix them together in a bowl and I think that'll be filling number two. Wow! <gasps> oh my gosh, can I just have a scoop of that? That is incredible. I'm basically just gonna mix this to taste. I'm thinking I want more custard than mango because the custard is thicker, but I definitely want a nice helping of mango. Let's try this. Not really that mangoey yet. Let's see what that's like. Try a little bit of that. I think that's perfect. That's my mango filling done. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge along with my pistachio filling, and then we're just gonna work on the third filling, which is gonna be chocolate cream. I was gonna just do Nutella, but I feel like that could be a lot and really quite thick in the croissant and just like a whole mouthful of chocolate. So what I'm gonna do is mix this with a little bit of cream, which I've already started whisking. I'm just gonna add a bit of this and then finish off the whisk and hope that that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and try some. Oh, go get yourself some whipped cream and Nutella and just mix them together. This tastes like you would eat it in a restaurant where they've only put a teeny bit on your plate and you'd be like, oh my gosh, it's so dreamy. There's such good chefs. But this is just Nutella and whipped cream and it's one of the best things I've tried. Let's open this. <gasps> that one looks amazing. Look at that. Okay, let's tip it out. <gasps> it looks good. Final one. This one has filled out the queue. Let's have a look. <gasps> okay, this might be the best one. Oh, wow! How did I do this one? I'm so happy with this one. This one has gone well, and I think I remember how I did it. That final one looks like that's gonna be the perfect one, and I'm so happy with it. I think I might make one more, which means I've gotta take another hour to do. It's already half past six. I've been here since like midday, I think. It's 9.34 p.m. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome back to my kitchen. It has been a little while, but as you can see, I have some baked goods to show you, and I am so proud of myself. Now, before I go ahead and decorate these croissants, I'm gonna do a little test run on one of the, it wasn't failed, it actually didn't go too bad, but one of my previous ones that didn't go perfectly, we're gonna test a little bit of filling to see how that goes, and then a little bit of decorating. I have put a piping bag inside a glass, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour in some pistachio cream. The pistachio cream has actually set a little bit and is way thicker than it was earlier. So I'm just gonna fill this cup. I'm not too sure how much to do. This is quite a lot, actually. Dun, dun, dun. This is the bit I've been waiting for all day. Pop this inside here and squidge. So I don't know how much to fill it. I mean, it's just gonna start coming out, so I'm gonna stop there. What do I do with this now? Where do I put this? Um, um, oh dear. <laughs> ah! The next thing I want to do is make a little triangle with icing sugar. So I'm gonna cover up half with the foil and sprinkle over icing sugar. So I'm just gonna sprinkle like this. Okay, so this one we're gonna break into and hope that it's kind of filled and looks kind of decent. Oh, it's not very filled. There's barely any filling whatsoever. However, look at all of the lovely lines. And then, to see what this actually tastes like. It tastes pretty good. Tastes like a croissant, and I think I really like that pistachio cream. Lesson has definitely been learnt though. I'm gonna dig a hole in and like really dig around in there to make sure that the cream can really fill it. I can feel lots of cream going in there. I mean, that used most of a bag, so I think that's pretty good. Second icing bag, we're gonna fill with our chocolate cream. This stuff is delicious. Now we're gonna get the chocolate into there and we're gonna give it a good squeeze. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. There's definitely a better way of doing this. Just give it a good squeeze. Oh, did you see that pop? Okay, I really feel like I filled that well. Ooh. <gasps> I don't know if I'm gonna have enough filling. The mango custard, which I kind of feel is quite runny. 
Ah! Yum. Oh no, okay, what a mess. Oh my gosh, almost the whole bag has just gone in there. Let's use the rest for this. Pop this in, give it a good squeeze. Is there something you're meant to put in these little stopper holes to stop them coming out? Or do you just flip them upside down and hope for the best? That's just gonna come out when I tip it upside down. We're gonna drizzle, there we go. Oh no. Oh, this did not go how I thought it was gonna go. Maybe I should just cover the top in chocolate. This has not gone how I wanted it to go. We're just gonna do the whole surface and then hopefully maybe get some drizzles down the side. That is too big of a drizzle. This is terrible. Not good at all. Saving grace, we have some little golden balls. So I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> I'm making it look worse. Let's see how these go. I am going to stop there before it gets worse. That is one, done, tick. This little guy has the hole at the bottom, but rather than putting it this way up, I'm just gonna keep it this way up and decorate over the hole. We're doing the same kind of design, but on a rolly one. This is not going very well. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, <gasps> the chocolate's going into the chocolate hole and now it's rolling away. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This has gone so terribly wrong, but at least I covered up that hole. And we're gonna do, oh Jasmine, what were you thinking? <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Wonderful. <gasps> Pistachio cream is definitely coming out. Swirl. <laughs> that is not, that is not, that is not how I envisioned that going. I don't know how these places make things look fancy because I can't do it. I'm going to put a dollop of pistachio cream on one of these fancy fancy. I've actually just looked up some images and you know what? They don't look decorated that well. See if I can grab some pistachios to chop and sprinkle on top. Just gonna sprinkle some pistachios. That was a last minute one and I think that might be my favorite. Final one, I have no idea what to do with it. I can bisque off spread on top of it. This has not gone well at all. Maybe we purposefully make it look not cute. I'm gonna sprinkle some chocolate over it. <gasps> do I have any frozen mango? Oh my goodness, this could be the saving grace. I have a frozen strawberry. That's not what I asked for. Come on, mango. We've got blueberries. Ooh, mango. much better. I'm gonna do a little close up of my work so you can see what they all look like. Please let me know what you think down below if you think I did a good job. These are my creations. Before I go, thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and not just sponsoring this video, but providing me with a dinner that was easy to cook and quick out of the fridge because I did not have time to do anything else today. Like I said, there is a link in my description, but I hope you did enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye. I went happily easy. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I am.